What's up guys, it's Toy House, and today we are going to open up 90 crates of meat. This is one of the options for a reward from completing the daily cooking quest. Now typically crates of meat is what I like to uh, choose for the reward personally because you can get a ton of cooking recipes there. Um, but, you know, some of those recipes uh, are pretty good. Things like Storm Chops, Kibler's Bits, Delicious Chocolate Cake, and Captain Rumsey's Lager. And if you're not familiar with those, I'm going to post them on the screen there. Barrel of Fish can contain broiled bloodfin and skullfish soup as well. So uh, check out those recipes once you've gotten all four of the ones from uh, the Crate of Meat. And also Spicy Hot Talbuck can also, is another recipe that, comes, that drops from the Crate of Meat. So... We're going to open up these 90 crates of meat. We're going to see what we find in there. Hopefully, we get some of these recipes. Um, again, this is a daily quest, so acquiring 90 will take you 90 days if you were to do it. And uh, let's see what we find. So, we've got <laughs> our first one. We got Kibler's Bits right there. Uh, this is decent. Um, you know, it's not bad. We've got some serpent flesh and some warped flesh. This stuff sells pretty good, actually. Um, the serpent flesh on my server is like a gold a pop, you know, a gold per piece. So, uh, not bad or a little over that sometimes. We're just getting a lot of meat. We got a tarnished silver ring. This is some vendor trash here. Lots of meat, more vendor trash. Tallbuck venison, raptor ribs, cleft hoof meat, raptor ribs, chunk o basilisk. It's always fun. Wow, we got a ton of meat. You guys ever realize how much meat you get from a crate of meat? This is insane. All right, we got through 20, or sorry, this was actually not 20. This is, we're moving to the next set of 20. Buzzard meat, which is used for Kibler's bits. We haven't gotten any other recipes yet. We're looking for things like delicious chocolate chocolate cake. We want some storm chops up in this. Let's get some more buzzard meat. All right, well, it's not letting me loot that last one. <laughs> there we go. We got more buzzard meat, serpent flesh, buzzard meat, cleft hoof meat. Serpent flesh raptor ribs. You know what's nice about these daily quests is that oftentimes you actually need some of these meats in order to complete the quest. So once you uh, select a crate of meat, go ahead and use that, save that meat, cook it, and uh, get ready to turn turn it turn in the next daily quest with that meat you just got. Oh, we got storm chops up in this. Charges you with energy, causing lightning to occasionally zap nearby enemies for the next 30 minutes. This is actually something I think is really nice if you want to be uh, you know, going above and beyond on your AoE protection paladin. Eat some storm chops, start shocking some people uh, with these storm, shock, storm chops. You need cleft hoof meat and lightning eel. Lightning eel is uh, back in classic world azeroth spicy hot tall buck there we go we got it finally after about 30 or so crates of meat uh this is nice it gives 20 hit rating uh, in spirit so that's not bad another kibler's bits so we've gotten two kibler's bits now here we can put all our recipes up here Ooh, another storm chops now that's not necessarily as good you know get i mean it's great but we already got that recipe Storm Chops is uh, the thing that I look forward to the most. We got another spicy hot tall buck, buzzard meat, cleft hoof meat. I mean, when you open up a crate of meat, what do you expect to find inside of a crate of meat other than a bunch of meat, you know? Chunko basilisk, buzzard meat, warped flesh, serpent flesh. By the way, serpent flesh, the reason it's so, it's so expensive is it creates the best in slot. Um, food for casters as well as aoe protection paladins that that would be the best uh food for them most likely if they're trying to maximize their spell power serpent flesh tall buck venison so that's pretty nice you'd think the price would go down since you get it for the daily but uh you know gold i mean the demand keeps up with the supply at least on my server all right we've gotten a ton of meat look at this inventory dude we got some cooking to do warped flesh cleft hoof meat Ooh, there it is the delicious chocolate cake nice simple flour ice cold milk mild spices small egg flask of port and mage royal it almost makes me hungry like that sounds pretty good delicious chocolate cake eating you'll become very happy for one hour very nice all right so we've actually uh gotten everything that means Actually, do we have Captain Rumsey's Lager? Oh, snap, my inventory's full here. We gotta sell some of this stuff off. 
All right, so we're going to sell that. We're going to sell that. Let's get this tall book venison. I don't think we've gotten Captain Rumsey's lager yet. That's the one thing that we're missing so far. It's the one recipe. All right, Kibler's bits. Now, the one the one thing about these recipes is that they're soul bound. Uh, you know, like I said in the beginning, these are daily quests, so you only do them once a day. And unfortunately, if you want these recipes, you're going to have to do the daily quests yourself. Cannot purchase these recipes from the auction house, and they also can't be traded. Buzzard meat's pretty good. Cleft hoof meat, raptor ribs. Serpent flesh is the best. Um, but also, man, we got a ton of Kibler's bits, dude. We are maxed out on Kibler's bits. Skinning knife, that is pretty useless. And we got a vendor some more stuff to innkeeper Baribi. It's one of my favorite innkeepers. She sells the best stuff. Golden fish sticks, spicy crawdad. Those are not BOP. You can re-throw those up on the auction house. Unidentified eye. Maybe it belonged to an animal, and maybe it didn't. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's freaking... Dude, What? what's... Uh... Oh, another one. Oh, my gosh. What's that goblin doing with the crate of meat? Just with, with eyeballs, dude. Chunk of basilisk, warped flesh, raptor ribs, another storm chops. I mean, who doesn't love opening up a crate of meat and seeing a blue recipe? It's the coolest thing ever. All right, last four crates of meat. What I'm looking for here is Captain Rumsey's lager, which, to be honest, I actually don't think it even drops in this. I think I think the four we were looking for. I'm referencing a guide, to be fair. And I've actually opened a ton of crates of meat, and I have never seen a Captain Rumsey's Lager. I'm almost positive you get this from the Bags of Fishing Treasures. Almost positive. So I think this guide I'm looking at is wrong. All right, so this is what we ended up with. And we can actually vendor, you know, some of the some of the things. We, oh, Large Fang we should keep. That's used for alchemists to create uh, rage potions. Um, torn Furry Ear is useless. List of goods, very useless. Hunting knife, super useless. Skinning knife, I mean, you can try to throw that on auction house. Unidentified eye is only like five silver. So lesson learned here, if you looked at the uh, the fishing, bag of fishing treasures video, you can see that that vendor trash goes for way more. However, a lot of these meats are pretty valuable depending on your server, like this serpent flesh will really sell, on at least on my server. Buzzard meat's pretty decent because you use that to make Kibler's bits. Raptor ribs is pretty good. You need that for the daily as well as the cleft hoof meat, in, including serpent flesh as well, um, depending on the daily that you're doing. Otherwise, you're just going around to Netherstorm collecting nether, nether berries. Uh, that one's the most annoying one, if you ask me. But there you go. So we got about, I would say, 11 gold off of this. If you were to sell all of this, you might make another couple hundred. But it looks like the fishing daily is, or sorry, the cooking daily quest does not yield as much uh, gold as the fishing daily, that's for sure. And definitely doesn't have as cool of stuff. Um, it's kind of like once you get the four recipes, uh, it's almost, you know, you don't really need to keep doing the uh the cooking daily and again those four recipes are spicy hot tall buck kibler's bits storm chops and delicious chocolate cake that is what drops from the crate of meat i personally recommend when you're doing that cooking daily the first thing you should do is when you're done with it is choose the the crate of meat until you have all four of those recipes and then you can start working on the barrels of fish uh for your uh daily quest reward so you can get the other two recipes which are broiled bloodfin and skull fish soup that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give the video a like if you want more world of warcraft content don't forget to subscribe my name is toy house and i will see you in the next video take care